No surprises here, Lt. Gov. Gavin Newsom and Sen. Dianne Feinstein continue to pull ahead in the races for governor and U.S. Senate, racking up wide leads over their opponents in a new poll. In the battle for the governor's mansion, Newsom, a Democrat, tops Republican businessman John Cox 55% to 31% among likely voters, a poll released Wednesday by the Public Policy Institute of California found. The Democratic vote seems to have consolidated solidly behind Newsom, said Mark Baldessar, the poll's director, setting up the former San Francisco mayor in a strong position for November. Independent voters also favor Newsom over Cox, 41% to 33%, and a relatively small chunk of voters, just 9%, are undecided. Get breaking news, sports, entertainment and other free email newsletters. Check out the full list and sign up now. In the fight for Senate, 26-year incumbent Feinstein has almost doubled the support of her insurgent challenger state Sen. Kevin DeLeon, leading 46% to 24%. About half of Republican likely voters say they'll sit out that race between two Democrats. Based on the results of the 2016 Senate contest between Democrats Kamala Harris and Loretta Sanchez, it seems likely that most of those voters will stick to their word and leave their Senate ballot blank, Baldessare said. Leon won the endorsement of the state Democratic Party this month while the poll was in the field, but the results include no immediate bump based on that victory. The party's backing could have some impact longer term in helping De Leon get his name out and raise money, but Feinstein is still considered a strong favorite. On environmental issues, a solid majority of likely voters support raising fuel emission standards for cars, even as the Trump administration threatens to hamstring California's ability to set its own tougher standards. And two-thirds oppose oil drilling off the Golden State's coasts, another proposal from the federal government. Start your day with the news you need from the Bay Area and beyond. Sign up for our Morning Report weekday newsletter. More than two-thirds of adult Californians agree that the effects of global warming have already begun to happen, and 56% say the phenomenon is a serious threat for the state's future. Just 9% believe it isn't a serious threat at all. Californians will decide in November on a $8.9 billion bond to fund water storage projects such as dam and canal improvements and wetland habitat restoration, and the poll found that 58% of likely voters backed the proposal. One reason why, about a fourth of likely voters still name water shortage the most pressing environmental issue facing the state, even though the five-year drought officially ended in 2017. Maybe the drought is over, Baldessare said, but it's certainly not over in people's minds. The poll, which was conducted in English and Spanish between July 8 and July 17, surveyed 1,020 likely voters. It had a margin of error of plus and minus 4.3% among that group of respondents.